It seems that some laws, some patterns. It's not just the stars here and there, as we can imagine. It has some pattern. Right? It seems to be a period, periodic movement. What's the driving force? What's the facts and evidence? What's behind the facts and evidence we can see? Is it possible for we understand this? So I think the possible lots of people in the history will think about these questions. We think about our positions in this universe. We think that we find something very interesting. We don't know how we can understand that. Do we have some way to understand that? Possible. So this is like a Chinese clock. This is a very old clock in the history to recall the time. Recall the time of the day. Yeah? So it's recorded time of the day. It's called Ri Gui. Okay. Actually, it's reading the shadows of the sun, sunlight. So you can read what is time. They, they classify as 12 times, equal to one, one time is equal, one unit of time equal to two hours. That is how we say that that's how it comes. And then this is the, uh, actually, it's, it's a sun's relative movement. Uh, relatively, actually, the sun is not moving around the earth. Actually, it's earth moving around the sun. But comparatively speaking, the sun is moving, so showing the, the circle and the clockwise. All right, this is one way to record some of the period, some of the time of the universe. I really the sun. Okay. And from there, People seem to be, want to know more about what is happening. So this is the familiar, everybody familiar. This is the Tai Chi diagram. When you think about Tai Chi, this is Tai Chi diagram. In Tai Chi, it's a yin and yang, yin and yang. That is how yin and yang comes from, comes from. And how this picture comes from. Is this imagine, imagination? Is this the superstitious? Uh, idea is that a strange symbol? Everybody knows. All right. Some of the content, excuse me, I have to repeat to make my presentation like a more a smooth processing. So some of the terms you know, but I have to repeat. Right? And uh, how they made the, uh, this diagram? Actually, this is naturally invisible hand drawing this diagram. Generally speaking, this is the same as the Chinese clock, Rigui, and then they put a pole in the middle. There's two poles, one pole in the middle, one pole just on the side, on the peripheral. So from the, the Dongzhi, the, the shortest day, to the longest day, you put the poles in the center. So every time, every midday, at 12 o'clock, lunchtime, you have a record. You have a record. So, it's 180 days. Does anyone mind? Just so that uh, Skype people can see. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. <coughs> no, it's no better. It's better. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Carry on. All right. So, and then after that, from the Xia Zhi to Dong Zhi, the longest day to the shortest in this direction, they put on the, on there, on the peripherals, day by day. It's 180 days. So, these two combined together become this Tai Chi Tai Chi diagram. So this is very interesting thing. Oh. Oh. You just move this table up. It's been right. nice if they could see the diagram. Okay. The end. Thank you. Thank you. So actually, this give us a lot of, lots of understandings and inspiration, is that right? This symbol reveals lots of very interesting things. So, because of this symbol, it's very obvious. It's a, it's a shadow heart, and it's a 
non-shadow part, it's light part. So the shadow part, we name it as yin. The light, sunlight, name it as yang. That is how its original word meaning. Because the yin means shadow in Chinese language, one of the meanings is that the yang means the sunlight. Also, this is very natural. This is very natural. So, because of this term, because this is a recall of the nature, all right, so people spending a lot of time to study this symbol, they have lots of understanding from this symbol. So that is, that is why the whole, um, all right, we're, we're talking about this term already. So in uh, Yang, expanded the meaning, all right, adding brightness, movement, expressions, <laughs> Okay, and uh, growing, ascending, dispersing, dissipation, of oh, external, external, sorry. Yang, mm -hmm. on the other hand, is yin. That is so simple, right? Because of this term, it's a great creation. This word is a revolutionary creation, I think, because of then people become very busy because of this term, so we can see the bagua, bagua, five elements, right? And uh, heaven stems, earthly branches, wu yun liu qi, five, five, five yun, and the six qi, oh, have a very basic, basic factors, basic uh, phenomena, it's yin and yang, all right? We can see from the, from the photos, these are five elements, sorry. This is like a congenital bagua, acquired bagua. You can see also in the bagua there's a yin yang symbols as well. This in the bagua, this long one representing the yang, a yin. This a two log representing yang. Oh, oh sorry, this is yang, this is yin. Actually, and uh, so you can see. Oh, this is the heavenly branches. Earthly, uh, heavenly stems, uh, 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 earthly branches, all include very basic, basic conceptions of yin and yang. This is like a wu yun liu qi. climate changes are of a different year. Sixty years is a cycle. Yeah, this is very, a uh, very deep knowledge in Nature naturally. There are four, there are seven chapters talking about this. Uh, changes of the weather. This also, we have to use the yin yang's idea, yin yang's thinking to understand how it works, what's the process. So yin yang's very, is so basic. So after my study, my understanding, so I find, I learn the broken knowledges. Piece of knowledge there, 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 there. So because it seems so big, so but, I want to find something common. Something common is that those yin yang. If we know the language of yin yang, we can explain all of them. So later on, I'll share more about what uh, particularly what was that. So we're talking about uh, like a three implications of yin yang. Three implications of yin yang. So. Talking about three implications of the yin yang, we have to know a little bit about uh, like the Chinese culture, the structure. And uh, actually, Chinese culture is all from the yijin. Yijin is very basic of Chinese culture. So all the TCMs from China, uh, yijin, and the Taoism from yijin, Sunzi, War of Art from yijin, Fajia, is a very old like a legal system. Uh, they are from Yijin, Confucians from Yijin. So we have some ideas, we have some understandings from Yijin, because Yijin talk about three principles, three laws. So Yin Yang also can have the same uh, meaning. So that is how I put like three implications to the Yin Yang. Right? I think uh, because I, after I study Yijin, I realize we can <coughs> put the same, use the same way to understand more about yin yang. So yi jing, 
What's the three principles of Yi Jin? Yi Jin talk about three principles of Li Xiang Shu. What is Li Xiang Shu? Maybe I'm not translating correct. Laws and images, pictures, photos, okay? and the numbers. Everything. Yi Jin disclosed the fact that everything that includes three implications. So Li is, and the characters of Li is non-changeable. It's never changed. If something changes here and there, with conditions, it's not a law. Right. So, and the images is very simple. Why? Because we can see, we can feel. And the numbers is changeable because the numbers they have sequences, series <laughs> numbers. So we we'll talk about a little bit of more about that. This is a very important term. This is a very important term to understand the Chinese culture and understand Chinese uh, as well. So I will talk a little bit more about uh, yeah, how can I put on this one? Oh, law. Law is about the reasons, principles, laws, and mechanisms for everything, every existing things. There's some laws. There's something unchanged. There's some, yeah, some patterns. Right? Everything is the same. So well, maybe we'll discuss a little bit more about that. And uh, but images is also very interesting. Images. Actually, what is images in the easy understanding? Images is something we can sense. Not only in the pictures. Only to use our eyes. Not only use our eyes. Use our hearings, the sounds. Using our smell, taste, different, different smell, different taste to use our mouth, different feelings, hot or cold, and dry, dampness. Use our skin, body to feel, ear to hear. What's the voice? Different voice. 角质工商语. Different tongue. Smells, of course. As today, images in the mind as well. Because all the images is formed in our mind. So this is very interesting uh, thing, very interesting topic. Maybe we can discuss about it later when we have time. Um, when you begin this is there any way you could get the, um, what's on the screen sent? Yes. Thank you. And uh, numbers, numbers, numbers. We talk about the number is always changing. Numbers means changes, and uh, they can refer to uh, certain classifications. For using one, two, can be classified something like a acquired bar block. They talk. They have eight numbers, very important numbers. So the one belongs to Scott today. This year and this coming year, tomorrow is a horse year. Horse year also horse also belong to one. So you would say one, the whole classifications go there. So it might be a little bit similar to the numerologist. Here in the Z. I heard something. People uh, study about numbers. Yeah. And uh, also when you think about and see the numbers, the changes there. So when you talk about a one, so you know the following word be two. When you talk about a two, you know the following will be three, and the previous will be one. So, actual numbers is very good to explain something that's changed. And what is more important is this three is implications is in one. Don't separate it. We can understand. We can understand in a different way, but we have to be uh, linked them together to, to understand. For example, for example, talking about the laws, Li, and images, Li and Xiang. When we talk about the laws, images inside.
when we talk about images, the laws inside, the laws inside already. Also, this numbers and images is also close related. How, how do I use the example to say that? <clears throat> and uh, we just mentioned some, something, numbers and the images. The numbers including the classifications of something. For example, this horse here is number one. Uh, and uh, the one could also represent the sky, representing the uh, old, old name, right? Large intestine. And uh, white color. So all the bright red color also can be uh, representing, one can represent it. So the numbers actually is inside images. Also numbers not only include the truth, but include the changes, also include uh, and uh, images inside. Also numbers have laws inside. When we talk about number one is the like a, like a horse, like a perfection, like the sky. The meaning, the laws inside already. And uh, numbers and the images and the laws can be changed or can can be swapped. Yes. Laws have images. And uh, what can I say? And. Uh, yeah, just like uh, uh, Confucian says, one yin and one yang means Tao, all right? So the Tao is uh, similar to laws, so they have uh, yin and yang images inside, and also have numbers inside, finally. Right? Okay, this is so important, but uh, unfortunately, I haven't uh, uh, prepared enough, enough information to explore a little bit more, but this is very important, so I leave, leave that. For, for, for you to, to study yourself. Where would you re recommend studying that? Okay, Which so you? this is from Yijing. Yijing, yes. Yijing, I, I get this uh, idea from Yijing, but I apply it in the Yin Yang understanding and the Yin Yang and the TCM. Yeah. I apply the principles yeah. and the way of learning from Yijing yeah. to uh, TCM because TCM is from Yijing. Yeah. Some understandings about the uh, Yijing sort. Previous one, previous page. Previous page. Uh, I missed the same page. <coughs> okay. So, is the Yin Yang really have this? We have facts and evidence from this understanding. Is I imagine imagination? No, we have facts and evidence. So, in Su Wen chapter five, they're talking about Yin Yang's law of the sky and the earth. So you see, the law included in Yang. And the sky and the earth is the pictures and images. Right? So in chapter, I think everybody familiar. Today we just review a little bit. So the matter of change. Yin Yang is the matter of change. So Yin Yang includes change. Chapter 5 is very important now, talking about the, the, the general principles of Yin Yang. And the, the root and the big and the root and the beginning of life and death. All right. Life and the death, the house of spirits. All right. And accumulation of the yang becomes the sky. Accumulation of yin becomes the earth. So we see also found with lots of lots of images inside yin and yang. So yin and yang is so profound. Actually, they include these uh, three implications of the principle from easy. So I'm not an imagination. This is facts and evidence. And the talking about more details about the laws, as we can see, something I changed, never changed. And uh, so 
being honest, integrity and independence. So we just review these principles as we know. Inyang, integrity and independence. It's a kind of unit. We always see the, 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 the diagram. Lots of imagine, understanding from the diagram. So that's why there's a truth from the image. So even though we face the images, we get the truth. So that's why we need to face the images every day. We need to read the classics every day. Because words also images. We need to face them honestly and uh, generally reading them, connected with them. So we get the knowledge, get the understanding, get the wisdom from there. So yin yang, integrity and independent. It's independent. If you sh it's only have yang, there's no yin. It's here. If you don't have sunlight, how is the shadow? If no shadows, sunlight, where's the sunlight? Alright, so it's integrity and independent. And the yin yang is opposite and contrary. In all yin yang always plays in the opposite way. Right. It's very interesting. Yin yang is always opposite. If it's not opposite, it's not yin yang. And the yin yang is rooted as transformable. Yin yang is rooted and transformable. These concepts, these ideas, is very important for our practice later on. I, 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 I show you to demonstrate some of my experiences. It's a rooted that is transformable. So, yin yang is growing, yin is growing to the top, then transformed to the, to the yin. But the yin transformed to the, uh, reach its extremities, it transformed to yang. And the yin yang is a, actually it's the same. If you look at the wrong one, it's the same stuff. But it has a different, different uh, like a, we have a different understandings. 